Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Beers, Bourbon, and Games. I'm your co-host, Conquer Corey. With me, have Mike. Yeah. And we're bringing an unboxing video. We love Let's our controllers. Go! You, you know us. We love our controllers. So we are reviewing the Rich Retro Fighters Hunter. Say that three times fast. But uh, as you can see there in the case, uh, I just unboxed it. I really love the shipping case they brought it in, by the way. It was super cool on the inside of it, the little graphics and stuff. Um, and in the box, they did a really great job. You can see all the features on the back. It is 2.4 gigahertz wireless technology, but that's pretty standard. Uh, I'll get into that a little bit later. But um, yeah, the presentation here is just amazing. They are really stepping up their game from our from the other controllers we've seen from them. Uh, makes me really excited. That's good because I know I was, I was kind of worried about after we did that one N64 review, uh, it was not good, not because it couldn't stay connected. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one is totally different. Spoiler alert. But uh, yeah, so here we got the box. Here we're gonna open this up. Um, pretty standard packaging. So you got a controller in the in the in the foam wrapping. You got the little box for the dongle and here is the little guide uh, just gives you instructions on how to switch it between the, it supports D input direct input and X input so uh, that's really cool it should, gives you button combinations as well as some FAQs uh, some general information so it comes it does come with a USB-C connector uh, that is for charging it takes up to 2.5 hours to charge but then it, gives, it, it advertises 12 hours of battery life don't quote me on that I did not test it for 12 hours but I did play it for a good while, <laughs> and, and it holds up solid. So in the box, you actually have two receivers. You have a wireless receiver for the original Xbox, which is super cool. That USB port, I am almost certain that is for playing when you, your battery's dead. You can plug it up and play corded. Um, it definitely it gets its power from the USB port on the Xbox itself, which that is a USB. It's just proprietary. And then, of course, we got the standard USB, which is going to be for your PC and Switch. Now, unfortunately, I did try to test this on the Steam Deck, and I could not get it to work. I think that there may be a setting I'm missing, but I've heard that other retro, retro fighters have had issues. I keep wanting to say Retroid. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but look at this controller. Look at this thing. How beautiful, so it, beautiful. it is. It is awesome. It's really premium feeling. It feels just like an Xbox. It feels like a mix between an Xbox Series X controller and a Switch Pro controller. If you held both of those Ooh. in your hands, it's got that textured grip on the back. It's got a switch in the back that you can, you know, switch modes. But it feels, <laughs> it, it feels a uh, switch. It feels overall just good in the hands. Um, and I got big hands. Uh, me and Mike are big guys. We got big, big chubby hands. And having a comfortable feeling controlling is a constant challenge for us. Um, yes. It comes with all the standard buttons and everything that uh, shoulder buttons. But uh, we'll get into the other details here in the last part of the video. But we want to jump straight in and show you how it plays. So here we have Halo. Uh, you, you know I had to do it. I had to Gotta do, do it. Halo. Gotta uh, start with Halo. And uh, you, you can see there, um, I'm sitting there playing. Now, for, don't trash me. I was playing on normal. It's been a while. Don't take that out on the controller. It's just it's been a minute. I was playing through OBS as well because I didn't feel like having to hook up my monitor. I wanted to capture the footage. So I was playing this through OBS, which we all know has lag through it on its own. So, um, but overall, like a lot of excuses to me. <laughs> I, I did okay. I did pretty good. I mean, you, you see me just unloading into that elite there and giving them a good old rifle. But, and I tell you what, playing this makes me want to play Halo again. But um, you can see there, you can kind of gauge the uh, you know tutorials with standing. You can kind of gauge how it how it turns with me, and. Honestly, I didn't notice. Now, obviously, it's, it's going to have a little bit of lag because it is wireless, but I didn't notice enough to hurt me. Now, if you're playing competitively, it might hurt you a little bit, but if you're playing casually like I am here, you're not going to care. And plus, it's not like we have a wide market of wireless Xbox, original Xbox controllers. No. They're all old. The old Logitech ones that are ancient and not that great. So the fact that we got a new one here, I am super excited. I like how well it's just it's working. I mean, it seems to be just great. Did you have any issues disconnecting from the Xbox? Uh, so no, not not really. I did have issues disconnecting from the Switch though. When I was playing in the living room with my family, I actually decided to open up a game of Smash because Little Conqueror, she can she puts me through my paces on it. 
And uh, I did notice that whenever I was, I was about, my, my couch was about a good standard eight feet away from the TV, maybe more. It advertises a range of 30 feet. But I noticed that if I relaxed my my arm a certain way and if my couch was blocking the, the line of sight of the receiver, I didn't notice yeah. any interference there. Um, without a doubt, it could be all the wireless devices I have in my house because it is 2.4 gigahertz, which, you know, it, it is subject to inter- interference. It happens. Yeah. Um, but honestly, I didn't notice enough to, to really hinder my play. Once I once I knew, oh, I got to keep it in the line of sight, it works well when it does. Um, I didn't have any issues. Uh, Battlefront, you can see it played well. I did not die, surprisingly, even though I was having a really hard time seeing the droids because this game has pretty, let's face it, pretty bad graphic settings. And it's hard to see the pixels that are the, the droids. I do this sick move here where I have to totally take down this destroyer droid in a minute. Yeah, elite gamer skills. <laughs> Look at you being all awesome. And you know, of course, I had to play Armored Core. So I hooked up my PC, uh, fired up Armored Core uh, because it is a very fast paced game. I knew it would test the reaction time of the controller and really kind of send me through the paces. Um, it connect it, it connects and detects its uh, I believe it detects the Xbox 360 controller, which is oh, odd. Cool. They keep doing Xbox 360 controllers. I don't know why they don't. Uh, I guess I guess all of them do technically, but um, it works fine. Um, is that quad machine guns you have there? Yes, it is. The new update guy gave us quad machine guns, and I'm incredibly happy about it. And you can see that I'm just kind of zipping and zooming and blowing up things. I really love this controller, y'all. I fell in love with this thing, and I, I, I threatened Mike that I wasn't going to return it to home base. <laughs> I was trying to come up with a story of, of how I could justify keeping this thing, and uh, but we have other pro- other things in mind for it, which we can't talk about right now. Okay, I'll load up Smash. You can't. Again, I'm not that great at Smash, but I decided to fire up uh, around with Pyra and Mithra, and... All in all, this is on the Switch. I am very happy with it. Now, the, in order to get it to work on the Switch, though, when you plug in the receiver, you have to go in your settings and you have to enable the wired Pro Controller option, which does disable some things like the NFC functionality. So keep that in mind. But what makes this great is by having this controller, you kind of have a Swiss Army knife. You have a you have an Xbox controller, you have a PC controller, and you have a Switch controller. And I don't know about you, but I've had I've had I've had get-togethers at my house where everybody wants to play Smash, and you're always that one controller short. Yep. Or somebody gets the crappy controller. Yep. It, it just feels bad all the way around. But this, it felt good. I didn't have too much of an issue with it. And, and overall, n- no complaints really. Um, during my time, which I may have just got lucky and got a really good unit. And, of course, a less demanding game, I decided to fire up Xenoblade Chronicles 3, uh, which is a game that if you have not tried, I, I, I do recommend getting Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and 2 and playing those and playing 3. Um, it's a fantastic trilogy of games. Um, of course, these games don't require a whole lot of, you know, precision Twitch inputs, so you're not going to have a problem at all playing games like this on this controller. Because it doesn't matter if you lose an input here or there. I really need to play these games. I can't believe I have it. Yes, you do. Oh, they're so good. They're so good. But this this controller, again, I, I, I like the good quality feel of it. I like how it how it plays in the hands. It feels comfortable. Um, it's like a pro controller, but it's not as expensive. Now, it's not as nice as a pro controller for Switch, because pro controllers for Switch are probably like pinnacle controllers to me. Uh, what, yes. what a controller should be, but um, this, this comes close. This comes really, really close, and it just, again, I, I'm I'm very impressed with how Retro Fighter pulled this one off. I was skeptical at first. Now that leaves the price. Uh, $44.99, $44. so $45. Uh, I actually got it for $40 plus shipping at a third party. But there's two options. You got a black and a transparent green. I had to get the green because it's Xbox, you know. But, right, uh, it just fits. Black seems to sell out 
a whole lot. I really wanted the black one for my PC. One thing I was impressed about is you saw there, there was actually a 12 month warranty on these things. I love a company that stands behind their products. Period. That gives me a lot more faith in it, especially. I've always been real hesitant with the, with these controllers ever since that the wireless versions. Ever since we had issues with that N64 one, because I loved the controller, we just couldn't get to stay connected. So I'm real hesitant with them, but these come with a 12 month warranty, like just helps alleviate that completely. Right, and and as I was mentioning earlier, the only other options that we had for wireless X, original X, original Xbox controllers was the old Logitech wireless controllers, which really wasn't that great and they're getting really expensive to find so i love how right. retro fighters has gotten into this market of making modern versions of these classic consoles controllers yeah so with that being said mike would you recommend this oh 100 percent i mean it's uh the price compared to trying to find one for a, a, an original xbox controller or original xbox um the Logitech ones, just, they, they disconnect all the time. They, just, they, don't, they don't work that great. Uh, that this works, um, you know it works. It plugs directly into your old Xbox. It's perfect so you can sit on your couch and play. Now, like we said, the 2.4 is having some issues, but that's just how it is with those. But yeah, uh, it gets my self approval. Awesome. But let us know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Have you tried it? Have you had any issues? I know there were some issues with some shoulder buttons not being aligned properly, but let us know how your experience was or if, or if you're interested in it. But as always, I'm your co-host, Conqueror Corey. And I'm Mike. Until next time, keep on gaming.